this is my adventure with Iceland excursions, the golden circle ticket. You can see we needed a little croissant and coffee before hopping on our bus. This is the great view that you get as you're leaving Reykjavik. The city kind of dissipates, it gets a little rural, beautiful mountains. We were sitting on a really comfy bus for the day, and we were consistently surrounded by beautiful scenery in small little roads like that one. This is the visitor center of the first Viking settlement. Look how beautiful this panoramic is. If you see the little buildings on the left-hand side, we'll be visiting that later. You can see that right now, it's a little overcast. It was a little rainy throughout the day. Oh, there are some people pointing. And some gift shop. Lots of cute little Icelandic treats and books on trolls. Now we've left the cliffs and we're back down there and Sarah's just so eager to play tour guide. Look at the stunning views we had. There's so many amazing rock formations from all the earthquakes that happened in the area. Well, lots of hiking, lots of panoramic views. You're going to keep yourself twisting. Look at all that amazing rock. Zoom right up into the air and you're going to see oh, a hawk. This board was explaining how many, many women were drowned and murdered in this very pond, just below this scenic waterfall. And the sound of Iceland is crashing glacier water. Just remember, Mother Nature only reveals herself to those who press her closely. Back on the bus, and oh my goodness, we just spotted our first Icelandic horses. We've been looking for those. And now we're at Gullfoss, the most famous waterfall in all of Iceland. And Sarah's playing tour guide. Look as she showcases the thunder and beauty of Gullfoss. And, oh, polka dot door, where are you? Boing! Lunch at Gullfoss Cafe. We had some vinegar for our delicious salad, as well as smoked salmon bagel. And the essential Ritter Sport with a delicious berry cream cake slice. And lots and lots and lots of shopping and postcards with linens, trolls, music such as Sugar Ross and Bjork. I'm a little bit of a fan, I'm not gonna lie. As well as Shark Cream and Wonder Cream. And now we're at Geyser, Iceland's most famous natural wonder. It's that thermal energy that shoots that water way up in the air. Remember, don't throw your coins in the water. It's boiling hot. It steams and it smells like eggs. That's sulfur. It's also farts. Oh my goodness, look, there's the geyser. Everyone gets so excited. Oh, look, the girl with the tripod, she got scalded by boiling water. Look, there's little geyser, it's bubbling. And there's steam and it smells like eggs. And this is the shop for the famous Iceland fashion house, Geyser, obviously named after the geyser. You can see that they have an amazing selection of leather goods, cashmere sweaters, pants, fur thingy-majiggies that you wrap around your neck with lots of colorful boots and stuffed crows. Also, amazing vintage posters of the map of Iceland, as well as other hanging dead things, and really cool posters with a lot of people that are blonde that work there. And we had one last moment, a chance to see another waterfall, as it ran into a beautiful little river. And our last stop was this cathedral, as well as a beautiful little log house. Inside the cathedral, beautiful stained glass, and a lovely mosaic of Jesus. The Golden Circle Tour is the most popular trip in Iceland. Outside of Reykjavik, it's an easy day, and rain or shine, it's a whole lot of fun.